In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make your footage go from looking like this into something like this in CapCut for completely free in six simple steps. So if you want to learn how to edit cinematic videos in CapCut, make sure to go ahead and watch this video until the end. So as you can see, I got my new project opened up here in CapCut. So step number one is going to be importing your footage. So just go ahead, click here on import, select the folder which you are going to be, uh, you know, importing your footage from. And I'm just going to go ahead and import all of this uh, clips right here. And you can see I got some nice and cinematic drone shots. I got some, uh, you know, slow motion clips right here. And now what you want to do is just start putting these clips into your timeline. So obviously one way you can do it is just click here on the plus button and click on add to track. Or you can also, uh, you know, select a time frame in the certain clip and only import that part by, for example, dragging it onto your timeline. Or you can just drag and drop the entire video uh, clip into your timeline and cut out the part that you want to use. Now, step number two that I recommend you doing is actually stabilizing your clips. So if you have any clips that are maybe handheld and that doesn't look as smooth, you can always just click on that clip, go ahead and click here on stabilize then it's going to basically analyze that entire clip and uh, stabilize it for you, right? So it will look a lot better. Um, so that's number one. Second, you can always use slow motion if you are going for this kind of more cinematic feel. Um, so you can see that a lot of these clips, for example, this one as well, is uh, you know in, in slow motion. So the, the motion, everything is just uh, a lot smoother right now you don't want to necessarily overuse slow motion either but it can help make your footage look a lot more cinematic and another technique i recommend using a lot um, in capcut is speed ramping so this is especially cool for stuff like uh, drone shots if you go here to speed right um, you can actually come here to the curve part and these are well for example these are just like uh preset kind of like speed ramps, but you can also go ahead and create your own. So for example, I'm going to click on customized and let's say I want this clip to start being pretty fast and then go back to normal speed here. So I'm going to go, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it up all the way to the top in the first part of the clip like this. And then I want it to go back to kind of like normal speed here, right? So now if we look at this, you can see it starts out uh, kind of like fast and then it slows down. So you can create some really nice looking effects with the speed ramp. And another thing you can do is you can also connect two clips by, for example, you know, speeding up the end of uh, the first clip and then speeding up the first part of the second clip and then it will create this speed ramp effect. And again, it's super easy to do. Let me show you another example. So I'm just going to select this clip, right? Um, maybe I want this to start out slow and then speed up. Uh, so again, go to speed, click on customize. Let's say I want it to start out uh, slow and then speed up from here. So I'm just going to click here, you know, uh, then I'm going to go ahead and uh, speed it up, let's say here, it will go ahead and ramp up like that. And then I'm going to bring the rest of the clip uh, up to the top as well. And let's see what we have now. So you can see it starts out nice and slow and then it speeds up. After that, once you selected the clips that you want to use in your edit and you also cut out the parts that you want, which you can obviously always just do by pressing B, for example, to get the blade tool and just, you know, deleting the parts that you don't need. Uh, the next thing I recommend doing is adding music onto your clip. So music and sound effects can make or break your edit. And that's why you want to choose a song that fits the vibe that you are actually going for. And that actually brings us to the sponsor of this video, Epidemic Sound. So I have been using them for over five years at this point for all of my personal and my client projects as well. So whenever I need sound effects or music, I always go to them. They are a subscription-based platform where you just pay a small monthly fee and you get unlimited access and downloads to their huge library of amazing songs and sound effects. This year, I partnered up with them to bring you an exclusive discount on their service where you will get access to their songs and sound effects for two months 
for completely free if you just sign up with the link in the description below. This discount is only valid for the personal plan and will only be available for the next five days. So hurry up and make sure you don't miss out. Go ahead again, click the link in the description and thank you Epidemic for supporting the channel. So for example, I got this song right here from Epidemic Sounds uh, and uh, you can listen to it if you want. This is kind of how it sounds. Pretty good, right? So you just want to uh, lower it a little bit so it, you know, it's not too loud. Uh, let's just do it like this. And uh, one thing that I actually really like about CapCut is that it has this like auto beat detection. So you can click it on this button where you see this little flag um, and then AI under it. And then you can choose uh, beats one or beats two. Beats two is just going to detect more like beats in the song. And then you're actually going to be able to see the beats right in the in the music here. And if you want to edit to the beat, it, it makes it super simple. Like, let's just say I start out with this clip, right? And then I'm just going to do a cut, let's say at every second beat. So I'm just going to make the cuts here. Maybe I will upload a few more clips in here. Obviously, you could also uh, match this up like you don't have to cut exactly at every um, second beat, but uh, let's just see what we got now. As you can see, we caught literally perfectly to the beat and uh, you don't even need to have like really good ears or whatever to be able to do this. So this is pretty sick. And um, after this, I also highly recommend adding some sound effects. They can literally take your edit from being like a solid six to a nine, right? So they can make a huge difference. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to add some ocean sound effects. And with sound effects, you want to make sure that they are not too loud, right? So I'm going to put it at like minus 15 decibels, uh, but you know, obviously do whatever sounds good for your uh, example. And another thing I recommend doing is when uh, you are using sound effects or songs, whatever it is, I recommend kind of like fading out the end of the sound effect so it doesn't come off um, too harsh or doesn't go out too uh, like rapidly. Um, so it will just sound a lot better, right? So this is what we have. On that part and then another thing I want to do is add kind of some uh, bird sound effects to this part where there are all these trees right so I um, got some bird sound effects as well uh, like forest sound effect um, so I'm just going to put that over this part for example you can also use sound effects to introduce a new scene so for example you can see that I actually put in the, the forest sound effect before that clip would even come onto my screen. And this is going to allow me to subconsciously like introduce the viewer to uh, a scenery change because they will associate the sound of the birds in the forest with uh, a different image than the picture of the city, for example, in this case, or this drone shot of the city. Uh, another one I'm going to add is a VIN sound effect. So basically, again, you can see all we are doing is pretty much replacing um, you know, the original clips sounds because obviously these are drone shots, so they didn't have any um, audio built in. Uh, but even if you had built in audio, sometimes it's, it's not going to be the best. So it can add a lot if you add some whooshes, if you add nature sounds, uh, whatever it is that actually fits into your clip, right? If you're shooting something that has to do with fire, well, add in some fire sound effects and it's going to make it a whole lot better. All right, now after this, the next thing you want to do is add some coloring to your clips, right? So if you're going for uh, some cinematic coloring, there are a couple ways you can go about it. Number one, CapCut actually has these built-in filters and they are not bad, to be honest. So if you like any of the, the built-in filters that they have in here, uh, you could just go ahead and pretty much like drag and uh, drop it over your clips. Like for example, this moody full one, right? Um, and pretty much everything that's uh, under that layer is going to be affected by that color grade. And then if you click on it, you can adjust the intensity. So I don't want it to be that intense, right? Uh, but for example, something like this looks pretty nice. Um, and uh, if I wanted to do some more adjustments to it, I could also just add another like adjustment layer uh, here pull it out across uh, the clips I wanted to affect. And then I could come here 
to the curves, for example, and add some more contrast here by introducing an S curve. Um, so yeah, just like this, I was able to add some more contrast and uh, it looks pretty good. It's a bit too contrasty now, but you get the whole idea. Another thing you can use is lots and they are also great for color grading your footage quickly. So here's how you can use lots to do this. Uh, you click here on lot in adjustments and then you click on import and then you can import your own lots as well. For example, this is one I quite like using. Just click on import and then I'm going to be able to actually drag and drop it over my clips, right? And now uh, this is how this uh, lot adjusted my clips. And obviously I can also change how intensive uh, this lot is by coming here to strength and uh, lowering it to maybe something like this, like 40 looks pretty good. And obviously you could also do way more in depth color grades and uh, you know, color adjustments here in CapCut. If you just come to adjustments, you could go to the HSL where you can just select, for example, only the greens, desaturate them if you want to, right? Or only the oranges and desaturate them, uh, like whatever you want to do, right? Uh, you can actually do quite a lot of adjustments uh, in CapCut which is really good, especially for a free software. But in this video, I'm not going to go too deep into the color adjustments because probably the reason why you're using CapCut is because you want to just add it quickly and easily and not necessarily have to worry about, you know, color wheels and all of this stuff. Uh, if you guys are interested, I could make a more in-depth tutorial as well, just on that in the near future. And the next thing we are going to do to get this cinematic look is we are going to apply the black bars or cinematic black bars uh, to our clip. So I have this uh, right here. If you want this exact uh, download as well, just uh, join my free editing Discord server in the description below and you will find it in the resources section. But as you can see, if I just drag and drop this over my um, clip, it's going to apply this kind of like cinematic aspect ratio black bars. Uh, now, technically this is not like the proper way to do it. The proper way to do it is if you actually change the aspect ratio of your clip to customized and then you would put in here uh, the resolution that is of those cinematic, uh, you know, like videos, then you will get the same aspect ratio, but without having to do this like a uh, newbie cinematic black bars PNG overlay. But to be honest, for 99% of social media like uploads, it doesn't really matter. And then after you are done with your entire edit, you can just click here on export, obviously select uh, what you want to name your video, where you want to export it and just click on export. And it's going to be ready now for uploading to social media or whatever it is that you want to use it for. So thank you so much everyone for watching until the end. If you enjoyed this one and you want to learn more about video editing, make sure to join my free Discord channel in the description below where you can learn more about editing and getting clients for editing as well. Other than that, subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one.